Hello, and welcome to Building Blackjacks. Um, well, I suppose at some point in our lives we've all had to take the switch gear off of a Japanese motorbike, and quite often you find it's a struggle getting the screws undone. And the reason for that turns out to be your fault for not having the right tools. Um, if you look at the end of this screw, you should be able to see there is a dot on it. You won't see it from there, it'll be a close up. Okay, right? And there, that little dot means it's a JIS or a Japanese Industrial Standard screw. These are different from Phillips screws. Um, the corners in the middle of the cross are less rounded. So when you put a Phillips screwdriver in there, it doesn't sit in there properly, which is why it ramps out, which is why it knackers the screw, which is why you can't get things undone. So, after all these years, I've treated myself to another eBay purchase of one set of JIS screwdrivers. Um, not particularly expensive, about 10 quid. And the difference would have made this. Probably the best cut of the site, too, don't you think? Everybody loves an unboxing video. So, it's unboxing stuff. Right, <coughs> can't sell use before, but US Pro has always seemed to me to be reasonable quality for the money. And the screwdrivers might be twice as good, but if they're 12 times as expensive, that's not really the point. Um, I would just say that. Looks it's in a tree. No, slightly magnetic. If you just put that in there, you just just feel that's sitting in there nicely. Uh, give me two minutes, I'll go get a Phillips. Oh. Bad preparation again. Okay, so ordinary Phillips screwdriver. Um, <coughs> There's a screw. If we just take that, put that ordinary Phillips in there, juggle things around a little. There is a fair few degrees of movement on that. And that's just the corners in the vein there, sitting on the turn of the cross. If I put the JIS one back in there, it's a completely different there's that much wobble in it before it starts moving. And this one has probably twice as much movement. And you can feel that when it gets to the end, it just wants to ramp out. Put the S one back. And it's staying there. So, moral of the story is. <clears throat> Back in the 70s when everybody was telling you that Japanese crankcase screws were made out of chrome lead, you were in fact using a wrong screwdriver. Um, you can of course use a big ass impact driver. Um, that will just basically reshape the head to the Phillips bit that's on the impact driver. Um, it's a solution, but it's not a particularly nice one. And well, yeah, these were about, they were a little bit over 10 quid on eBay. There's a link down below. Um, Hope that was interesting. Hope it was useful. If you liked it, hit the like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, then I'd appreciate it if you did. And um, I'll catch you soon with something a bit longer. Cheers. <laughs>